Alright, so today we're going to talk about getting things done in the Philippines. Sometimes it's frustratingly hard. So, I had an apartment. It was some blocks over there and uh, had an internet connection that was over there. Recently, I decided to make things a little bit more convenient. Moved to a place that um, not as nice, but it's directly across from the office. That's our old office, and then our new office is right next to it, just right around the corner. So, moved in about six weeks ago, and I've been trying to get the internet over ever since. It's been quite a process, because this pole right here is where the internet goes to. There's a fiber optic line there that apparently they're going to plug me into, but there's no cable from there to here. It's not like in America where they just take care of that stuff for you. If I want the internet, I gotta get a cable from here to down there. So first thing that happened is one of the building maintenance guys suggested putting like a conduit pipe, drop it down here, and then go over there. So called up the property manager people, and they said that they had to ask for somebody's permission in order to do that. Two weeks later, still haven't heard anything back from them. Called the office multiple times. So, got word today that that wasn't gonna happen. There is no option to do that. Apparently there's some sort of conduit system that's inside the building already. So, and we got the building maintenance people who now have permission to put stuff through the conduit. Picked up some fiber optic cable and the guy's gonna drop it down through some sort of existing conduit. He has to put a new conduit. We just saw him go by with a bunch of PVC pipes. So apparently that's gonna happen. Then after that, we get the line from here down to there. And we got two more people to call. We gotta call one guy who's gonna connect it from there to there. Plug it into the little box thing. Then we got another guy who has to show up and uh, connect the modem into the fiber optic line on this side to make it live in the room. Um, most of the people don't speak English that well that I've talked to. So I've been like trying to do it all through a translator. I get my friends that speak beside to help me out. <laughs> this has been a process just to get the internet hooked up. So that's the deal. Right now we're waiting for a guy with the conduit. Just saw him go by, so he should he should start doing his thing here in a couple minutes and then he'll run the line that we got and then we'll get in touch with that guy and then we'll get in touch with this guy and hopefully I get online sometime soon. So I've been using the data on my phone like crazy. It's like just far enough away where I can't tap into my own Wi-Fi in my office across the street. And um, yeah, it's been almost two months. So, you know, things just kind of little bit different over here. Sometimes people think that they can just come to the Philippines and things are going to be just like in America, but it's not the case. So that's the story of the internet. Hopefully we have a happy ending for it soon. We'll find out.